Hi everyone, how good is your communication skills? This is extremely important because good communication allows you to have good relationships with anyone, anywhere, at any place. And it opens the door to more opportunities, which then leads to a more successful life. Paul Mayer said communication and human connection is the key to personal and career success. Now to help you improve your communication skills, I'm going to give you my seven best tips. These are some of the things that I learned myself over the years because my communication skills were terrible. My first language is not even English, it's Afrikaans. But let me not waste your time. Let's get right into the video. Just very quick, if it's the first time that you're here on my channel, my name is Daniel and welcome to DLM Men's Lifestyle. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it and then also click that notification bell here so you won't miss any of our future videos. Now, let's start with the first communication skill. Active listening. Now, if you're one of those guys who say and think, well, what does listening got to do with good communication skills? Well, that just shows you how bad your skills really are because it's got everything to do with it. It is one of the most important skills that you can learn. The big mistake most people do is they just want to hear enough for them to be able to respond. No. Active listening means really focusing on the person to really understand what they are trying to tell you listening to the intention behind their words by focusing on their facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice. Peter Drucker said, the most important thing in communication is to hear what isn't being said. And that is why it is never a good idea to look away when someone else is talking to you, because then you are not seeing their nonverbal communication, which is a lot more communication than their words. In a general setting, 55% of communication is body language, 38 is tone of voice, and 7% is the actual words spoken. Now, of course, these numbers might change depending on the situation, but you get what I'm saying. You gotta improve your active listening skills by truly putting your attention on the other person to fully take in what they are telling you, engaging with them, rephrasing and asking questions to make sure you understand them. Look at their facial and body expressions. And you do all of this by also avoiding distractions. For example, when someone is talking to you, don't look at your phone and don't interrupt them as well. That is so rude. Well, unless they're one of those people who just always keep on talking and they will keep you there the whole day if you don't interrupt them. Now listen, if you truly care for other people, then you will listen to what they are trying to tell you. It's almost like an art, truly listening to what people are saying because it's nothing to do with ego. It's all about being humble and all about loving other people and improving your active listening will build respect with other people because they will feel that you really listen to them, that you really care about what they have to say. If you don't do it, the opposite will happen and they will feel the opposite. Clarity. This is very important. You need to speak clear. Some people, for some reason, speak very soft. They kind of mumble their words and other people speak too loud too fast and it's all very disturbing. There's a balance. You speak clear, you speak just loud enough so they can hear you. And here's another thing. Some people for some reason start out good, they speak good, but then they turn their face away from the person they're speaking to and the last few words they kind of mumble when they walk away. You can't hear that. Another problem is your accent. If you speak soft and with a different accent and sometimes fast, then you can just stop right there because that person is not going to understand you. So all you gotta do is just to be self-aware and speak with clarity. Empathy. Are you able to put yourself in someone else's shoes? To kind of 
feel what they are feeling, to know what they are going through? Or do you just not care because you are selfish? You know, selfish people will always have a hard time connecting with other people because they don't have empathy and people can feel it. John Medina said, empathy works so well because it does not require a solution. It requires only understanding. If you truly want to connect with people, to build strong, lasting relationships with them, then you need to have empathy. That means truly understanding their emotions, the situation they are in, and then responding to them in the right way so that they will feel understood. So in short, just understand how people truly feel and then give them an appropriate response. This is something that you cannot fake. You need to truly care for other people. Honesty and kindness. You know, I really don't like talking to people who are rude, who are not friendly, who just don't care. And people who don't have an open mind. Most people don't like talking to people like that. And that interferes with good communication. If you are honest and kind, it builds trust in people and it improves good communication. If you do that, if you are just a nice person that people can talk to, then of course they are going to talk to you. They will actually want to hear what you have to say. Kenneth Blachert said, Honesty is telling the truth to ourselves and others. Integrity is living that truth. If you are a man with integrity, then you will also be honest and friendly with people. And you can improve the way you communicate with them by smiling while someone speaks to you, making small gestures, asking them how they are doing and then praising them if they did something good. You have to build people up. Start to focus less on yourself. Don't talk too much about yourself. Put the focus on them. Talk to them. Build them up. And always remember this. People will forget about the things you say, but they will never forget how you make them feel. Respect. Now you need to understand what true respect really means in different settings. For example, if you are in a group of people, you need to show other people respect by giving them time to speak. It's not good when there are a lot of people in the group, but only two are kind of hijacking the conversation. And the other people, they really don't even get a chance to say anything. Sit back and give other people chance to speak. You need to know when to initiate communication and when to respond. This is very hard for people to do who are very selfish. You need to be unselfish. It's also very hard for people who are extroverts, but you need to do it. Focus on other people more than yourself. Be more self-aware. Start to respect other people. Everyone, it doesn't matter who they are, where they're from. You have to talk the same way to a president than you talk to someone cleaning the toilets. A human being is a human being. You gotta respect everyone and talk to them in a respectful way. Don't talk to them because of who they are in a different way. Talk to everyone the same because of who you are. Albert Einstein said, I speak to everyone the same way, whether he is the garbage man or the president of the university. This is something that you can learn to do, especially if you speak with someone one-on-one. -on -one. Stay on topic, answer their questions fully, and look them in the eyes when you talk to them with a kind and humble attitude. I have heard this quote somewhere. No matter how educated, talented, rich or cool you think you are, how you treat people ultimately tells all. Integrity is everything. Timing. Timing is crucial in good communication. Some people are terrible at it because they are so focused on what they want to say that they are not really reading the room. They don't read people's nonverbal communication and their emotions, their facial expressions. And then they say the wrong things at the wrong time. They start whole new conversations in a different direction when nobody is actually ready for it. This is why it is so important to focus on people's nonverbal communication while you are speaking to them. Small facial expressions and body language will tell you when the person is bored, when they are in a hurry, or when they are disagreeing with what you are saying. You gotta learn to read the room, the atmosphere. 
and a huge mistake a lot of people do is they talk too much. There's a difference between communication and conversation. They are different. And then something else you can focus on. Time your words and your sentences better. Don't rumble it off. Take control of every single thing you say. And then give a pause every now and then so that the listener will have enough time to take in whatever you are saying. Confidence. Always speak with confidence. Even at the workplace, this is very important because people are more likely to agree with you or when you present something, they're more likely to like what you're doing if you present it with confidence. People won't trust or believe in what you are saying if they feel that you don't believe in yourself. And you can appear more confident by doing a few things like just preparing what you want to say beforehand so that your speech is smooth. And then sit up straight, keep eye contact and speak with clarity. And always remember, there's a huge difference between confidence and arrogance. Simon Sinek said, confidence is believing in yourself. Arrogance is telling others you're better than they are. Confidence inspires, arrogance destroys. Now, if you want more self-improvement tips, check out this playlist here and I'll see you there. And always remember, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers, guys.